Okay, hi there and welcome to a macro video, a short video asking the question, what is disposable income? Well, this is a key macro measure, particularly when we look at living standards. Disposable income is defined as the amount of money that uh, individuals and families, uh, that people have available for spending or saving after they have paid their direct taxes and also perhaps received any state welfare benefits. For the purpose of this calculation, we take direct taxes to include the obvious one, the income tax, national insurance contributions, and also the local council tax. Essentially, that's a tax on household wealth. So here's the process for calculating disposable income. We take people's original income before any government intervention, that be wages from income from wages and salaries and perhaps interest from savings, uh, perhaps some rental income or some dividend income from shares. That's original income. We then add on entitlement to and claiming of cash benefits, for example, the state retirement pension. We then take off a minus direct taxes and local taxes, e.g. the council tax. And that gives us a measure of disposable income. And it's a figure that economists pay a lot of attention to. Effectively, it's the money we have left in our pockets available to spend and save after the government has had it impact within the circular flow model. Putting some numbers on that process uh, for 2017, original income 37,000. Uh, this is per household, but not adjusted for household size. Uh, the average household received over £6,000 in cash benefits, uh, but the government took over 8000 in direct taxes and local taxes, giving a figure for disposable income of 30, 35247 Of course, some houses are bigger than others, and one, they may have one or two, possibly three earners. So we do what's called equivalization. We then make an adjustment to the data for household size. If we do that, this is the distribution pattern that emerges. This is again for 2017. The median disposable income, the middle figure in the distribution was 27,310. The mean was 32,676. Of course, the mean is dragged higher, as you can see from the diagram, by those uh, people at the top end earning significant amounts of disposable income. So that uh, those super, super paid uh, people at the top lift the mean above the median. Now that's the national figure for the UK. If we just dig beneath the surface a little bit, let's go to the, if you like, sub-national level. And you can see here that uh, in England, it's the only country within the UK to have a disposable income per head higher than the UK average. Uh, it's Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales well below the UK average in terms of disposable income per head. What's also interesting, finally, is we take another level below by area. And here we see some quite stark differences between areas and localities in the UK. Take a look at Kensington and Chelsea, Hammersmith and Fulham, where disposable income per head is over £60,000, uh, over three times the UK average. Whereas in, uh, in places like Wolverhampton, Hull, Blackburn, Leicester and Nottingham, disposable income is well, well below the UK average. In the case of Nottingham, figure only just over £12,000 per head, uh, less than two thirds of the UK average. And again, keep in mind, key valuation point, that even within those areas, there will be often very large differences in disposable income within localities. So you get uh, those sub-level, sub-local level, big differences in, in, in disposable income per head. Of course, that's the key aspect of inequality. So disposable income is income after taxes and after benefits. It's a key macro measure to talk about in your economics assignments.